Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the live show. I'm Jen Mint. And I'm Faye. This is the 100K subscriber giveaway. We got to start off the show with DJ Sick Rick hitting us with that $5 super chat. You see what he wrote there? Yeah, I was singing it in my head. But you were singing the Dungeon Family version. Of course I was singing the Dungeon Family because there's no Jen Mint version. Dougie Fresh, you're on. It's originally Dougie Fresh. Anyway, good morning, everybody. Man, there's a lot of people here waiting. So shout out to everybody watching live. Shout out to everybody watching on the replay. This is how this is going to work. Basically, we're going to wait a few minutes, let everybody pile in, let those YouTube notifications do what they do. we got we got a couple quick sponsors. Then we're going to just jump into the giveaways. we got 10 giveaways to do. So maybe we'll do one, come back, mess with the chat, do another one, and so on. I want to blaze through them instead of jumping into them. You want to blaze? <laughs> we know you want to blaze through them. <laughs> Uh, anyway, good morning, everyone. All the mods are in here. I see all the members, all the subscribers, everyone just watching. We definitely appreciate the hell out of you. Man, I can't believe we hit the milestone, man. You know, yeah, it's... We hit it. We did it. It feels surreal. I got the killing joke on the table. Members have probably seen already, but um, the 100K giveaway will end today. We'll have winners, but we will not be stopping with the giveaways. This is going to be the next milestone giveaway. We're going to do it at 110,000. I wanted to do 125, but you never know, man. That might take a long time to get 25,000 subscribers. So uh, we're going to do it. Not. We're going to do it at 110 because that's still far away. We've been doing like little 2,500 subscribers, you know, milestones. So shout out to Painted Pages and the $5 super sticker. And I got to tell you what, man, them super chats are going to help because this is going to be a grip in shipping, but it's all good, man. It's worth it. All right. So, real quick, guys, let me. Um, let me share my screen with you guys. Got to give a quick shout out to uh, one of our sponsors here who donated a $50 gift card. That's going to be the first drawing that we're going to do is for the uh, Cheap Graphic Novels $50 gift card. They are a great source to buy your Omnibus Absolutes, your collected editions. They sell them up to 50% off. They have great packaging, fast shipping, excellent customer service. They have that bargain bin where you can dig through and try to find them titles up to 90% off. Plus, uh, on your first order, if you mention Gemmin Collectibles in the memo at checkout, your second order will have free shipping in the U.S. So that's Cheap Graphic Novels. You know, we got to promote real quick our exclusive variant. We have 18 days left. We got 107 backers so far, and we're at pretty much $8,000, man. Once we hit 10000 That's what I'm excited for. I'm like, I can't, I'm, I'm so, I wanted to get to, I wanted the, the cards to come out. I want to see the card. That's what's going to happen. So this is, the card is going to be of the cover. I don't know why this looks like a little dollar bill, right? It almost looks like. It, it's a traditional sized card, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's going to be a trading card. And everybody who backs will get a trading card once we hit the $10,000 stretch goal. So, you know, we got to promote our first exclusive. And stay tuned for after the giveaways, y'all. I got a little surprise regarding the exclusive. Uh, and lastly, and this is the, the last promo thing, that's SpidermanBooth.com. First of all, they've been like super cool partners with us for uh, a year now. For Yo, mad, mad long. For a year, for, for since December of 2019. They do the $30 mystery boxes, but you can save 10 bucks if you use the code GEMMINT at checkout. Uh, but that's a one-time use per customer. You'll get five comics of retail value no matter what, but one of those boxes is going to have this Fantastic Four 49, first cover appearance of Silver Surfer and Galactus, graded at a 7-0, signed by Stan Lee and Joe Sinnott. So jump into that mystery box. You'll get your money's worth plus $10 off either way, and you could win a grail. You're done with that? I'm done with that. Two bros, send a super chat, five bucks. Says con congrats, y'all. Oh, hold Thanks, on. I'm behind on the super chat. Let me, let, let's put them on the screen. Oh, they oh, okay, cool. That's what I was nervous for. How do you put them on the screen? I don't know. Okay, I got you. I got you. Two brothers. You know I rock with them heavy like. Two bros. Cool. Shout out to the two brothers. It oh. always reminds me of that. Um, is it a vine? Two bros. Sitting two in a hot, hot tub. tub. Five feet apart. <laughs> Anyway, because of COVID. No. Um, <laughs> and then there was also. Nerd stuff. Yeah. Shout out to my boy Nerd Stuff with the $3 holler. He said, uh, big congrats, bro. Love the channel and the IG. I know Nerd uh, Stuff, he's heavy on IG. That's where we started, yo. Yo, there's so many people here that yeah. are. Uh, oh, hold on. I want to say hi to someone who, who said, What's up? It's Destiny FOMO. I, ha I caught one of her lives. First the of other all, day. Destiny FOMO was a big reason that we got that final push for the 100K. Oh, yeah. She, uh, she shared it on her Twitter, and mad people came in and commented on the video Yo, from that day talking about Destiny FOMO sent me. She had mad people in the chat. She I was like, Yo. I got I to gotta see what's up with her streams. I want to get into the Twitch kind of thing, man, but that's another day. Shout out to Destiny Fomo. Shout out to my boy, The Butcher, who woke me up super early with the East Coast text. Golly. 
No, but it's all good. Um, no, no other time zones exist <laughs> when you live on the East Coast. I was there. I used to be well, there. I know. That's why I'm saying it, because I was there, too. $10 Super Chat. Congrats on the milestone and the variant. And we're going to be on Pressable Defects on Wednesday. So y'all make sure to hit up Pressable Defects. Super fun show. Uh, new to the game, but already got it banging. Sponsors and everything. Uh, and lastly, we got the $25 Super Chat from Wild Comics to help with the shipping to the winner, winners, for real. Great content and uh, both kick ass. Keep it going and Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. Happy holidays. Happy Christmas. We do have some of the um, shit, man. We do have some of the prizes here. Like the Nano Gauntlet is here, uh -huh. so we're gonna ship that. Um, okay. We have the uh, Thor Ragnarok is here. We're gonna ship that, but we're gonna pay for shipping for XM because um, I kind of I wanted to incentivize them a little bit. Like, yeah, we'll pay for the shipping, man. Oh, Just okay, cool, some. cool. There's more super chats, so you realize. Yeah, that, right? okay. I got a BX boxer for the five dollars. Congrats on 100k and all of your success. Happy holidays to you and yours. B boxer from back in the day. Yo. Yeah, I was gonna say, what's up, B boxer? B -boxer? Shout out to <laughs> Ethan Trujillo. I just want to give him a shout out, man. Uh, young kid, he won the Supergirl statue, and he's been on it ever since. He's like, good morning, yo, Ethan. He's on it. Good morning. He always asks me how I'm doing. I, I see it, and I appreciate it. Happy winter break. All right, we're gonna cover some super chats, and then we're gonna do the first drawing because I don't want to keep everyone waiting too long. Okay. Mike Tope with the $5 holler said, Jem, love everything you do and keep up with those picks of the week specials. Yeah, I know they're not performing well, but I like them. I think I'm going to continue to do them maybe as bonus videos for like a second video for that's the cool. day. That's cool. I like until that. Until they gain traction because I really like doing those. And if we can get it popping, that's like you know, nonstop like, content. Those, those smaller videos that you can bang out in like four or five minutes, you know what I'm saying? Those ones are the best ones. <laughs> like little cookie cut, little, what do you call them? They're just little snacks. Little, <laughs> little, little snack videos. Uh, Destiny FOMO with the $10 super chat. Uh, congrats on 100K, my dude. We appreciate the hell out of it. Uh, and pressable, did we have, oh, pressable defects from the other side. Matt Forge, congrats on 100K, dude. Keep doing big things. Yo. Oh my God. Y'all are wild. Y'all going to make me get embarrassed now. All right, hold on. Our boy Brandon Wilson. Brandon Wilson didn't need to send a super chat because y'all saw that video with that box set did for your boy. So ten dollars super chat, hundred k, yay, yay. Hey, I love you. How I love you. What does he say? I love you like I love you. I like that. Oh, my boy Harsh Life in the house. What up, brother? We haven't done any of the drawings yet. I know I've seen a couple people We're ask who won. We're about to do the first one. Yo, my boy Prime Time with the with the C note. Dang! Congrats on 100K, Gem. Here's to a million subs. Thanks for uh, coming on my channel earlier this year. Yeah, man, I'll, I'll come back anytime for sure, man. I love his channel. I got the hustlers, like the flippers mentality, like the not the flippers, but the pickers. Like, yo, let's look for this treasure and flip it. You know what I'm saying? All right, so here we go. What happened? Silver Usurper, <laughs> sub crew 100K with a five dollar super chat. We got to get to these drawings, man. People, I know, but we're gonna leave. We're man. gonna lose track of where we are. That's though. What I'm saying. All right, our boy comics are great, man. Five dollars super check. Congrats on the hundred. Yo, happy it's, holidays! It's definitely happy holidays. Y'all making it rain up in here. Uh, super soldier with the five dollars finger crossed for those omnis. Congrats, Gem from the East Coast. That's right. We do have the omnis uh, in in the house too that we're gonna be shipping. Got a lot of um, a lot of books. So I'm gonna be mailing. He's gonna be heavy mailing. ass books. Hopefully, we can get that media mail. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Zach uh, Rabiner, $20 Super Chat. Happy Sunday. Congrats on the 100K, you beast. Thank you, man. We appreciate mm -hmm. it. Ah, dang. Oh, our boy Bailey. Happy belated birthday, right? Oh, really? Been a huge help to me describing statues I can't see. Always loved your videos. My man is the Matt Murdock of statue collecting. Shout oh, out to Bailey. You like, like that, right? that a lot. I, mean, I knew you would. That was off the, top, off the top of the head. Of course it was. Uh... Jason Lean with the five dollars of the channel. Hope this helps with the one thousand pound XM ship for sure, yo. Really appreciate it. The XM ship's gonna be like four hundred dollars for sure. Oh my god! Uh, Discovery Bay, my boy JB with the ten dollars. Congrats to Feet and Gem, my favorite YouTube couple. Dang, yeah. How many YouTube couples are there in our hobby? Right. I mean, you got Mr. X, you got Gary Gary and his wife uh, Melissa, right? Uh huh. Then the, you got. Who else is on the couple? Uh, you know, there's a couple that I follow on IG, Skeleton Key Comics. They got it popping as a couple. Luis Lopez, $5 Super Chat. Your channel has been helping us through the pandemic. Yet. Same. Y'all been helping me through the pandemic. Same. Kevin Zuma with the $5. Congrats on 100K. Smoke some. <laughs> All right, cool. We're caught up. Okay. Let's do a, Let's do the drawing for the... Um, oh, no, we're not. Fuck, man. Wait. 
Michael Cecilia <gasps> with the what? hundred. Jeez. Genevieve, don't know anyone on YouTube who deserves this milestone more than you. Uh, helpful, entertaining, and positive content to show uh, all the hard work and dedication you put into your channel these few short years. Thank you all from your fans. I don't really like that word, but I appreciate it. I'm getting having a hard time staying on screen yeah, right now. I know, all right. <laughs> and Mike sent the um, arcade one up, Mortal Kombat 2, light up marquee. That was dope, man. Oh, my God. All right, so let's do the thing real quick. Okay. All right, we'll get back to it. Who who we left off on? I, I we're, we're gonna really try. I mean, I'll keep it on my screen. All the right, last one we were cool, on, cool. and then we'll just scroll from there. Okay, right, with Lewis, zoom all through all right. that one. Is this is the last one. Y'all gonna make someone cry up in this? Yo, place, I'm man. really like we can get to this right now. All right, so I, check this out. So we're gonna um we're gonna pick a random winner for the gift card, right? That's the only one I have written down so far. All right, so we have to pick a video from the uh, last time we did a drawing, which was here, the 97.5k subscribers. So. For the cheap graphic novels gift card, I figure we should do an omnibus video. So let's do this haul. All right. Oh, that's a nice face. That's how I feel right now. My heart is beating so hard because you're sh sharing friggin' screens. All right, we're good. So here we're gonna do. This is the giveaway. Uh, filter duplicate users. Don't include replies because those are only mine. That's good, right? Y'all ready? Yeah. Y'all ready for this? All right, bump, 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 bump. So the cheap graphic novels, $50 gift card. We didn't know how much it was going to be for the longest. Out of 469 names, start it up. I like how they do it now, yo. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Beast. He said, Rambo. Dang, you didn't win the Rambo, but you did win the gift card. Uh, congratulations to The Beast. Well, what I'm going to do, if you're not watching live, is go reply to this comment that you won. So you got to make sure you have some kind of like, notifications set up for YouTube or something, right? I mean, I wrote down his comment, so at least you can try to find it. No, I'll find Yeah, write okay. down the comment and the video that I did it on. Oh, okay, what's the video? I don't know. Let me stop sharing. The video is Omnibus Comic Book Hall. Helsing? Berserk and Helsing, yeah. All right. I don't think I spelled Helsing right. I spelled it like very... That's all right. Okay. Shout out to my boy. How do you say it? Azores Tiger? Azores. Azores. Uh, I think that's how you say it. I heard someone say it, and I was like, that sounds the cleanest Damn, thing to say I it. think I owe um Mr. X a steak dinner. Now, we had we had a little side bet going on on here. Do we have to do the steak dinner in person? <laughs> Mr. X says, if it gets over 527 viewers live, I have to buy a steak dinner. I don't think it hit it, It just and it just dropped. Uh, Azor said, thanks for all the love. You and he give back to the community. Congrats on 100K. Well deserved. Appreciate it. Topher Gallegos, $5 Super Chat said, it's my birthday on the 27th. Y'all are the coolest. Thanks for the content. Happy pre-birthday. Happy birthday, but I got to correct you. It's Gallegos. Isn't the two L's Gallegos. a Y? Gallegos. I think I usually say that right, too. Yeah, I was surprised that you got that wrong. Jesus World, $10 Super Chat. Congrats on the 100. Y'all keep me motivated to continue the grind. Yo, sky's the limit, man. Prime time, grind time. Um... Damn, man, I'm sorry to catch up. I don't want to miss anybody's super chat, man. And then Eric sent the five dollars super sticker. Uh, uh, Eric Weatherholtz. Thank you. Thank you kindly. <laughs> <laughs> DJ Sick Rick. Oh, I don't, I don't, it's not on yours. DJ Sick Rick sent a two dollars super chat. Merry yeah. Crisis, everyone, and Happy New Fear. Happy Chrysler. That is perfect for this time of the year. The Beast, man, he won that gift card for show. Sure. Shout out to my boy Flacco. What it do, Javier Pedraza with the five dollars super chat. Thank you, Jim Fee, for all you do. This hundred K is amazing milestone, but it's not comparable to give. Stop, man. Appreciate it, man. Uh, <laughs> Y'all making it. <laughs> it's gonna make it rain right here. Uh, Toy Quest. Another big reason that we got that push to the hundred K. They had us on the show. They promoted the channel. Uh, they promoted on Twitter like crazy. They were promoting it like I'm promoting this Vampirella variant. Yo. Uh, congrats on a big milestone for all the hard work. Appreciate you, sir. All right, let me get off the screen so I don't start crying. Super chat. Thank you, Jay Sluder. Appreciate it. All right, cool. Now let's go to the next giveaway, right? Right, right. While you're doing that, I want to say I love these little pear stickers because a pear is one of my favorite fruits, and you know. they're so cute. This one's doing exercises. All right, we're going to share the screens. Okay. Okay. What's this one that we're giving away now? This one is going to be – so we just did an omnibus gift card, right? Right, right, right. So let's do something else. Let's look at, oh, let's look at the videos, right? Okay. How about we do – the Vampirella statues? Okay. All right, so for the Vampirella statues, I think it's only right we do the live show. Oh, did I promote it in this live show with Nick? I don't know. 
I mean, isn't that whole show about the Vampirella? Well, that's not the 100K, though. Oh, 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 I don't know. All right, you know what? I don't think that's fair because I think, you know, I said I, ha I had to really um, promote it in the giveaway. So there's a bust and a, um, is it one six? Uh, yes, I think it's one ten scale. Oh, no, I'm my bad. We got the Vampirella statue video. That's where I promoted it. That's right. Oh, my God. So let's do this. The winner is going to win both of these statues. Oh, Vampirella. Because it ended up being 11 prizes. I, I, I miscounted. So the one winner is going to win both of these. Okay. You ready? Okay. I think I'm ready. All right. Get your YouTube comments. The odds are kind of better this way because when I used to do just one video for the giveaway, it would have like, yo, 3,000 comments and stuff. 659 comments here, though. Jesus. Okay, hold on. While you're looking that up, fucking Damn, David Preci Preciado said in Rick Rock, Rick, Rick Rock, Rick Ross voice, <laughs> shout out to Pears. <laughs> shout, shout out to Pears. <laughs> The Bat Holic is the winner of the Vampirella statues. He says, never checked out Vampirella. Well, she's about to check you out. Brother. Oh. Two two statues at once. Don't go, don't go off the screen yet. Oh my god. Don't go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And the video, oh, the underscore. Bataholic. The Bataholic. Uh, and it was the um Vampirella statue video. Cool. Yep. Awesome. We're keeping it moving. Let me hit these tubers. I see someone sent 100, man. Y'all are really wilding out here today, man. All right. Hold on. I mean, 100K happens one time, right? Here we go. Look. <laughs> Shout out to Pierce. I couldn't do it because I was huh? laughing. But why would he? What, was he, what does he originally say that to? I don't know. Oh, that's so funny. Our boy Johnny Rosado. Uh, congrats on 100K. Sent you a Christmas package. Thank you for helping us do 2020 feet. You inspire me to be more creative. Much respect. Yo, she's creative as F. That's the biggest compliment. I always want people to be creative. Your bags are dope. That's oh. Shout so out to Justin Loke. Yo, I just saw Justin Loke with the family pick on IG. I had to double tap that thing. He had the nice family pick going on. Oh. He had this uh, $10 super chat. So happy for you. Men family, nothing stopping this train. It's just going to keep growing. Dang, brother. We're trying. We're going we, we to keep it up. We got a lot of good videos on deck. I dropped three videos yesterday for the members. Hold on. Okay. That's that. Uh, All right. Um, oh, the Mandalorian is here. I feel like I missed somebody's super chat. You rock. Oh, no. We got Michael Cecilia. Okay, cool. All right. We're, all right. We're caught up. Cool. All right. Let's steak dinner. Ah, oh, shit. Austin, that bastard. Austin LeMay said, congrats, Badaholic. You're going to get double teamed by Vampirella. <laughs> Yo, Mr. X was like, you want the over or the under? And I was like, I know how my channel operates. I'm like, yeah, I think we'll have a couple more viewers this time, but I'm going to go on. He said 527. I said, I'll take the under. So we just lost a bet. I know what that means. That means he was like, okay, the number is 527 live viewers. Do you want to guess that you'll have more than that or less than that? Oh, this little riddle of games that he plays with his wife? That's just a little over under. Shout out to Ray Cook, $5 super chat. So happy to see you guys succeeding with the channel. Congratulations to the hardest working couple in the biz. Love being part of this family. Oh, thank you, Ray. I thought that appreciate it, man. You were asking him if, you, if you, he was asking you if you wanted an over under meaning something completely different. Uh, I was like, see, wants to go under. <laughs> geez. All right, next one. Let, next giveaway, right? Share them screens like Fee loves to do. No, thank you. All right, so the next prize. Let's do. Let's do the QD1 DC lines. Ooh. You see, we're, we're going to work up to the big prizes, right? Big. So here's the deal with these QD1s. The um, We're going to do another giveaway for this once Prime 1 Studio hits, hits 20,000 subscribers. But we have two sets. But Fee's mad because she wants me to give her the... Anyway, I don't want to get into it. You want to fight on screen right now? The winner of this is going to win the DC Comics Prime 1 QD line. All right. Wants to fight right now? Grab the comments. All I know is I better be opening up Christmas boxes that have Joker, Harley, and no, fuck, fuck that, man. Uh, 580 unique comments. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. Marnell, yeah, boo, cool set. These are amazing. Well, guess what, man? You about to get? Yeah, they really <laughs> are cool. Get one. They are cool. No, nah, because nah, we like the Funko Pops. It's just it got too much too fast. And yeah. And when they don't stand, it's infuriating. And these things got little magnet feet on these little discs. Fire. You good? Nope. Marnell, yeah, boot. 
Cool. Congratulations. Yeah. You good? Yes. Dude, you're good. <sighs> All right, cool. So that's that. Yeah. All right. Kid Collector's in the house saying congrats, Marnell. Kid Collector got that very Gary prize we was on the show the other day. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, that was cool. Be getting hostile on the live stream. What else is new? That's the most hostile you'll ever see me. Oh, you saw your name, Michael Lorian. I hope you see it in another one, and it's the winner. Yo, that's a good name. That's a good name. <laughs> I want to do. Oh, I'm gonna do one. It's the Mandalorian. But the like bag? A woman. What about a bag? Oh, I, I I found um I found Star Wars sheets at the thrift store. So a Star Wars bag is in the works. Who that booty? Oh, Lex, thank you. I missed your super chat. Thank you for. Okay, Lex, dang, hold on. Lexi said the super chat was supposed to say. Congratulations to you both. Helped us through these times. Hi, Lexi. How are you? Oh, my boy Zorro. Yo, shout out to Zorro. Zorro's the one that edits all the Comic Tom videos, or most of them. At least all the ones that me and Tom do together. So he knows me on a personal level because we do like an hour worth of takes for like a 15-minute video. Shout out to Zorro. Uh, Santiago Velez, $5 super, super chat, y'all. Gangsters. Best comic content on YouTube. Much love from Queens, New York. What up? And then here goes Lexi. Oh, okay. It didn't have the text. That's what that was. Cool. Thank you, Lexi. Thank you. We don't have too many female supporters here. So we got we gotta we gotta show love, right? So Steve Loeb, Stephen Loeb, nice name. Uh $25 super chat. Congrats on the 100k. Well deserved. Uh, dude won the Vampirella and never heard of her and couldn't even spell the name <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Anyways, hope whoever wins that strange looking Joker comic uh deserves it <laughs> what's going on with this poppy i don't get it my boy poppy i want to see my name too there you go now you can see it brother all right did we miss anything i don't want to miss anyone's super chats too many congratulations yeah i mean i see it guys a darsh day one supporter right there lots of f-bombs to cut <laughs> no it's true and it's not me. You know what's funny? I don't know what it is about recording. You get so mad at yourself when you like drop a take. It's like, especially when it's like at the end of it. And we like to really do ours like professional. Like, yo, if you messed up, do the whole takeover. Not, not no, no punch ins. Shout out to Ter uh, Terrell Reed, another day one supporter, man. We appreciate that. That's a day one. He's hit me with the Allen. So you know you've been around for a minute. Oh my gosh. Poppy. I don't know why I always see Poppy. Every, every time he's in a live, I, my eyes gravitate towards his comments, yo. Shout out to Kayfin Neen, five dollars super chat. You guys are the cutie ones. <laughs> Thank you so much, and congrats on the congrats and happy holidays. Cheers. Thank you, Toy Quest. I see you. Thank you, Th uh, Thomas. All right, so let's do the next thing. So we're getting to the bigger stuff now, right? Yo, I need to write something down really quick. What are you gonna write? We got We got. We've been trying to have our kids watch classics. Mm -hmm. Super Trooper. What is it? Super Troopers. Super Troopers. Yeah, that's a great movie. Is there yeah. a sequel to that? It better not be. I think there is. I never saw it. Super. Man, Cave super Collectible, we appreciate that, yo. Yeah, that's a great Thanks, movie. Thanks, Matt. Yo, I want to watch it right now. Professional reviewers don't take mistakes lightly. We're constantly apologizing to each other. It's like, come on, man. We should I, know this already. I think of him when I hear you doing your videos, with, like when I'm at my desk. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, you guys put this man through so much with these... <laughs> Who, like, oh, Zora? You, you. I'm like, yo, this guy is going to be cursing your name. What do I do? The heck, you, you have to start over like four times. But I'm you like, don't hear Tom because Tom's on the headphones. He starts off over more than me. You no, know, I don't hear Tom. No, I don't hear him. You know, I don't hear ask you. Zora, Zora will comment. Who does more mess ups on the video with me and Tom? <laughs> All right, let's give away some of these honors. Uh, I, I, I want to click on Gene? his. Yeah, I, I think Gene. Oh, I I, 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 oh, well, you need to do that as well. So. <laughs> Gene, Mal Gene Malo, huge supporter, yo. We really appreciate you. Polly Lopes, congrats on 100K. Been watching two, three years now, I think. Gave me great content to watch during my time as an undergrad and post. Got my boy to sub. Ooh. Oh, awesome, yo. Thank you. All right, look, I'm going to grab these books. Okay. All right, guys, I don't know what to do with my hands. All right. So we're going to give away these Omnis. This is all one? No, this is three. Okay. We could do them back to back if you want. So that we don't, well, I'm, trying, I'm not trying to like intentionally drag everything on. Okay. Let's get it in a frame. There you go. All right. Hermedio Reyes, one, 1K station. <laughs> That's the Rock and Robbie station. Where's Robbie at, man? $5 super chat. Appreciate the hell out of you. All right. 
Uh, Anthony, you know what? I think at this point it's too late for this current giveaway. And anybody who's uh, curious on how the giveaways work, basically we promote the giveaways within each video. And once we hit the milestone we're going for, we do a live stream and pick random comments from said videos at random. Like the video we pick is random and the comments are random. All right, let's give away some of these um, Omnis. All right. All right, so for the first Omni, let's give away the Ven Omnibus. Mm. So for the Ven Omnibus, you know what I'm going to do? Top 10 Spider-Man statue video. So maybe you want to grab this. What do you want? What do you, oh, you want? Okay. Top 10 um, Spider-Man statue video for the Ven Omnibus winner. Y'all went ham on the super chats, man. It's crazy. Venomnibus. Okay. Herminio. See Discovery Bay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we got 590 comments. This is for the Venomnibus Volume 3. Batman Famindo. Congrats for the 100K, man. You're the myth already. Dang. Appreciate you, brother. You won the Venomnibus. And let's just go ahead and do the other Omnis while we're here. I'll grab a different video while Fee's doing this. Actually, I can't grab it because... I just need your... the Okay. And you got that from the statue video, right? Yeah. All right, let's grab a different video now. For the Omni, you know what? Let's do the uh, Berserk because that's like a book video, you know? The Berserk. Look at my face. It always catches me on some weird looking thing. <sighs> This is going to be for, let's do this Marvel horror lives again because, you know, I mean, I guess Berserk, you know, it's kind of got horror elements to it. Okay. See, there's like a little method to the madness that I'm picking these videos. All right. So for the Marvel horror lives again, we picked the Berserk review. Uh, volume six. Yep. Andrew Garcia, dang, a familiar name. I was just telling my wife I'd rather have uh, books to read than a digital copy. Thank you for the discount code. So, boom, there you go. And how about a free omnibus for that ass, Andrew? Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, you got it? Berserk mm -hmm. Volume 6. I just like telling my wife. Marvel Horror, right? Mm -hmm. Let's do the last omnibus one, which is the Captain America by Ed Brute Baker. This is the. Uh, reprint from the long sold out out of print book. Let's do a new comic book day review. What day? The new comic book day review from December 9th. I can't believe I'm balancing this on my hands. You're doing such a good job. All right, grabbing them comments. Then there's some super chats we got to go hit. I don't want to miss anybody's. Okay. All right. So 619 comments, randomized. And the winner is Asif Chowdhury. Hey, oh. yo, nice review. Thanks. You won the Captain America Omnibus, man. Congrats. Asif been around for a minute. I, I, I remember the name. You know the name. I see Edwin Diaz in the chat. What's up, brother? Let me know when you're good. And I'm then, good. Okay. Stop sharing. Get rid of that. Go back here. Got to hit these super chats that I missed. And we got a new member. I saw that, yo. Yeah. So we got Hermanio, right? So let me go down. Look. <laughs> Hermanio. Uh, Matthew Lundquist, man, with a $6 Canadian. Congrats. Looking forward to see the Gempires take over. Dang. Collector Rob wishing everyone good luck. I like that. Well, thank like you. JH Comics, new member. We appreciate that. Anyone who joins the membership, check our community tab. I have three videos that I have on deck ready to go. All new omnibus um, early looks or advanced overviews or whatever you want to call them. We got the scoop from Zorro. So All right, let me see. To All right, I'm going to get to it. Whenever uh, you can get to it, I'm going to enjoy shout it. Shout out to Bob Bland. Shout out to Mad Clown Titan. Uh, what's Vincent Lewis talking about? New to your channel. Love the review. Some amazing statues. And you both actually enjoy what you do. Cheers for cheering us all up in these times. Thank you, man. Thanks, Vincent. 
All right. Here's Zoro. Five dollar super chat. All right, guys. Here's the insider scoop. Tom usually takes more tries to get his takes, but Jem throws out more cur curses for each mess up. <laughs> All yes, right. That yes. sounds about right. I hope Tom comes in and tries to to, to defend himself. <laughs> All right. Uh our, Jem with the casual social boy reference. It was so casual, I didn't even catch it. Ben Hizzle. Thanks for the top 10 most viewed videos video. It was a great trip down memory lane. Yeah, I thought it would be cool to show guys like, yo, I can't believe that Thanos on Throne only made 90 bucks. That's so crazy, man, for 150,000 views. Uh, the Cerebros, $5 Super Chat. Congrats, guys. I would have never started my podcast without this channel turning me on to Omni's constant source of inspiration and entertainment. Awesome. Oh, awesome. Bro. I'm happy to hear you started it, man. I was going to say congratulations on your channel. Uh... Loa Lucas Jr., $5 Super Chat. Hey, y'all. Channel's been great, and thanks for answering my past questions. Love to send you both a copy of my horror comic, Stay Awesome and Shiny. Uh, send it to the P.O. Box, man. For sure. It's in the description. All right. We're caught up. All right. What what prizes do we have left now? We got the statue stuff, for sure. Right. How many th gifts do we give away? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we got the Nano Gauntlet. We got the Rambo. We got the... Thor Ragnarok, and we got the Joker, Orochi. So it's just the statues left, right? Uh, I spelt gauntlet way wrong. Okay. Shout out to Burke family. I think he said something right here. Top 10 most viewed videos really help me understand YouTube more as someone who is barely monetized. Yeah, as, as your channel grows and, and has more history behind it, more time behind it, more good standings, uh, the RPM goes up, man. Um, you said Rambo. Yo, Rambo I got a video. Gauntlet. I got a new comic book day re review video with like 8,000 views did more money than the Thanos on throne. It just depends, man. All That's right. Crazy. Flacco says my screen freezes and then boom, 15 comments. All right, cool. Let's, um, let's give away a statue. Dang, I'm nervous. Let's see, um, the share screens. So you have, um, I, I missed two of them. I got Rambo, the Nano Gauntlet. What are the other two? Uh, Thor Ragnarok. Just put Thor. I am. Which is the anime Thor Ragnarok. Okay. And then the last one? Joker. Orochi. Oh. So let's do this one for the life-size Nano Gauntlet. And I think for that, we should pick what video? Let me see. Um, Nano Gauntlet. Let's see. What, what looks like it? Oh. First of all, Guardians of the Galaxy. Is that not... No. You know, you know what? Uh, nah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do yesterday's video. Robin, sideshow statue, sideshow sent us the nail gauntlet. So let's do that. Oh, look, how perfect! Right there on it. So this is for the life size Hulk nano gauntlet, y'all. From Hot Toys, still sealed. I was gonna review it, but I just I felt tacky, man. I was like, I don't want to use this for a review. I just want to give this away sealed to somebody. Okay. Picking them comments. And this video is from yesterday, man. See, that's why you got to be on them. You got to be on top of them comments. So somebody could have potentially gotten in if they commented on this video between starting and now. Yeah. Yeah. 689 unique comments. Topher Gallego. What a redemption. With the pick me. What is the chance? He's in the chat, right? You said his name right. I'm gonna correct you. Yeah, yeah I know, but I, was it a different Gallegos? No, Topher, the same fucking guy. He won that life size. Whoa! Oh, dude. All right, cool. Topher is a winner. Let's let's jump into the next one. Let's do the uh, let's do the PCS Rambo, yo. You got everything you need. My from that? hair, I didn't get to. I only just brushed it when I got out of the shower, and it's drying, and it's. Bothering Did me. you get everything you need, though, is what I'm asking? Yes. Cool. Thank you. Let's go for for the PCS Rambo. What should we pick, yo? The Hobgoblin statue? Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Didn't get a lot of views either, so it'll, it'll be good odds. The smaller uh, scale ones don't do as well. It's all good, though. All right, y'all, for the PCS Rambo, let's get them comments. PCS Rambo, gotta get them comments. Do Work Darkman says, snap us out of 2020, for <laughs> real. All right, 654 unique comments. That's a lot still. Yeah. Vilone Eternal said, yo, this is sick. Congratulations, you won the one-third scale 
Rambo from PCS Collectibles. Now it's a sample piece, doesn't have an art box. I don't even think it has a shipper. I think they gotta like do like a makeshift one, but uh you get the statue nonetheless. Congrats. Mm -hmm. Did someone I think someone just sent a super chat? Let me uh we pause this up, get that out of there. Let me just shout out to our boy Josh Phelps, two dollar super chat. Congrats on such a massive milestone. He has the Love. same situation as we do. Him and his wife both are Jay. Oh, okay. Josh and I think it's Jessica. Oh, so that's why Jay and Jay from the from husband mm -hmm. and wife. Shout out to my boy Economics and Comics. He's saying he's talking about getting that silver play button. Yeah, I have three watermelons downstairs ready. I have to cut them. All right, y'all. What do we got left? The Joker Orochi, and we got the um Thor. And the Thor. All right, let's do the Thor Ragnarok right now. Uh, Zoro wants that uh, Grogu sideshow statue. We were uh, thinking about giving it away, but Fee wanted it. I can't. I'm in love with it. Uh, Hoodwood said, get him to a mill. Damn. All right. Let's share the screens up again. Hoodwood Inc. Please be a carpenter. <laughs> All right. So check this out. So for the Thor Ragnarok, we're going to go for the Berserk statue. Now, I think during this time, it's the first video since the 97.5K giveaway. So I'm thinking I didn't know what was specifically there yet. But I think it still counts, man. I, I definitely promoted the giveaway. Uh, while you're pulling that up, um, Poppy says, are you going to start doing Star Wars book reviews since Star Wars is blowing up? Well, you know, I've always done Star Wars stuff. Like back in the day, I did every Star Wars omnibus. I've reviewed the Darth Vader and the Star Wars by Jason Aaron. Uh, my weekly comic book day reviews, I do review Star Wars and Darth Vader. Although the Star Wars title is pretty weak and I'm thinking about dropping it. Dang, I'm surprised this video has such little comments, yo. All right, 404. Let's run it. This is for the Thor Ragnarok by Figurama, which we do have here in the garage. Marco Rod, congratulations. He said the meme kid. Yo, he just commented this. Yep, I think, oh, on the 12th, yeah. He was no, talking on about, the 20th, 12, 20, 20, oh, yeah, yeah, 20 exactly. at 11.06. I knew he just come. I saw that recently. So, yo, he just won Whoa. The, the Thor Ragnarok from Figurama. He was talking about the meme with the kid in the front. This is right now. Sorry, okay. I'm an idiot. But uh, he commented this really recently because I remember seeing. <laughs> I'm looking at it. I'm like, no, like it was right now. <laughs> oh, you look at the time. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, you know, whatever. I feel like you're not writing stuff down. Stop, please. I am writing stuff down. This was on the uh, Conrad statue. All right, guys. Then we'll do, let's do the Joker Orochi. And then everyone who stages for the giveaways, you can hang out, you can bounce. I am going to do a little What's in the Box, which kind of ties in with the Vampirella thing. Oh, really? And then we can try to shoot the shit for a little bit, man, until we you know, get tired or whatever. I got everything. All right, last one. Joker Orochi. The video I'm going to pick for this one is going to be the XM Studios Rocket and Groot, I think. This is a great statue. This is one of my, if I was going to do like my fit top favorite, this one would fall in it. Really? The, the Joker, or, yeah. Oh, I'm, the Joker Orochi. I'm so surprised how many Jokers I would have in my top favorites. The Joker Orochi, they, oh, look at that. They also uh, donated version B, so that comes with all of the extras. Yeah, whoever gets this, I'm super jelly. All right, guys, this is for the Joker or Rochi statue by XM Studios. Get them comments. Let's see all the unique comments. Mm. Mm. Got a lot of comments. 799 for your mind. Y'all ready for this? Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's do it. Yo. Alberto Aquino. Wow, I never thought I'd want that statue, but here I am searching up the price. Dang, Alberto won the quarter-scale Joker Orochi Samurai line from XM Studios. Congratulations. Dang, congratulations to everybody who won. Super shout-out to all the companies that showed so much love, man. Sideshow, XM, PCS, Figurama, Marvel Comics, Cheap Graphic Novels, Prime One Studio, Dynamite Entertainment. Yo, all that. So that's it. Yo, that's it for the 100K, man. Yo. Whew. That Joker, man. Joker is serious. It's so serious. All right, guys, before you leave, the Killing Joke is the next giveaway. When we hit 110,000 subscribers, we'll pick a random video where we promoted the giveaway and uh, do the drawing just like how we did now for this. So 110,000 is the next milestone. 
Real quick, I'm going to open up this package. Kind of like a little what's in the box live. Well, we can be cer cer certain it's not socks. <laughs> Don't be too sure now. All right. How am I going to do this? Yo, congratulations to everybody. And thank you to everybody who entered. I like when there's a lot of comments. Yeah, but at the same time, I like when there's not a lot of comments and I'm like, everyone who entered gets a really good chance to possibly. Well, that's why I like to switch it up and also pick videos that didn't have a lot of um, comments on it because uh, I, I like the odds to be good. Try to keep up with the chat. That's impossible. I'm already... Okay, here we go. Hey, guys. Dang, I saw my face flash. Yeah, that's sad. When you see your name flash by, I... I, I yeah. Can you post the winners again? Okay, so for this, the uh, cheap graphic novels, $50 gift certificate, the Beast one, mm -hmm. that one, and then the Vampirella statues, which it was the bust, and then you said it was a one... One-tenth scale. One-tenth scale. Based on, I think, uh, yeah, is it Jose Gonzalez artwork? Oh, I don't know that. Yeah. The Bataholic won that one. The Cutie One line, which is which one, Steve? The DC Comics. The DC line of the Cutie One um, little uh, figurines. Mar uh, Marnell Yaboot won that one. And then the Rambo, is that a one-fourth scale? One-third scale. Oh, my gosh. It's a one-third scale Rambo. Valone Eternal won that. Uh, the Venomnibus was won by Batman Fanindo. Uh, the Marvel Horror Omnibus was won by Andrew Garcia. Mm -hmm. The Cap Brubaker. Andrew uh, Garcia? Oh, yeah, it was Andrew Garcia. Yeah, yeah. Cap Brubaker um, was won by Asif Chowdhury. The Nano Gauntlet was won by Topher Gallegos. Thor, is this a one four? Yeah, one six. But it's a it's like how how Helsing is a one six, like a big dial. Oh, it's, it's from that same dial. company. Okay. That was won by uh, Marco Rod. Mm -hmm. And then <laughs> Joker Orochi. Alberto Aquino. I think that's how you say it. Aquino Aquino. So we'll post it. Oh, oh dang. I wasn't expecting that to be what was in there. It's the stuff on the other side, too. Okay, that's cool. All right, guys. So a uh, big shout out to um, Dynamite Entertainment. They actually did buy this from Ken Hacer for me uh, as a gift. The original artwork for the variant, yo. Wow. We got to get this frame. Yeah. Dang. I'm so happy because at first I was like, it almost looks like a digital drawing, but it's digitally colored. And uh, th this is the original pencils and inks. Now on the back, I don't know if I really want to take this out, but he, um, Ken Hayser provided four layouts, like sketches that we picked from. I guess I'll take it out. This is the first original art ever that I've ever owned. So how fitting, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, click on Bam's comment, uh, Super Chat. I'm going to try. How do I? Damn, this is like. Welcome to the Silver Play Button Club, yo. Congrats. Appreciate all you've done in the collectibles YouTube space. Truly a legend. Race you to a million. <laughs> Listen, you don't want to race my husband. Raise you. I don't want to race Bam, yo. He's pretty fast. No. <laughs> you learned that the hard way. No, That's how you I, had, I, I must have like had like, like a, a, a a sprain or something. So I'm definitely faster than you. All right, so these are the layouts um, that Ken sent over. He gave us four um, options. Appreciate you, Bam. So this was like one of the options, kind of sitting crisscross applesauce. I mean, that's not how we grew up saying it, but we get what you're saying. Okay. Then he had this one. You know, it's a little a little sultry. A, uh, you know, I don't think it, you know what that word means. A, 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 a little um, seductive. Okay, that's better. I, I like that one a lot, though. But... I was going with a different S word, but that works, too. <laughs> that's a good one, Pete. This is the one that we went with, right? Mm -hmm. And then you have this one, which was crisscross applesauce, but kind of sitting forward like. So, yeah, those uh, those were the four sketches, and then we settled on one. And then this was the final product, yo. Okay, I see. Uh, Tr Trodat07 said Aquino sounds like Aquino. Okay. Can you get this in there? Whew. All right, man. Dang. All right, so let's see what everyone's talking about, man. 
So Jim is pretty fast. Yo, for a big guy, I'm light on my toes. He's agile. I'm get it twisted. Amazing Asian. What up, brother? It's like a like a wild cat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what's up, Chad? Chad holding down the moderator duties. I feel like we're not thinking of the same S word though. Shout out to Divon Axel Backbury 13. <laughs> uh, appreciate that, Owen. Oh, Hood Wood. I didn't even read Vagabond. Yeah, I read the book one. I got to jump back into it, man. I've been so busy, man, like just trying to read, um, just trying to read the weekly comics and then do all the other content and everything. So I want to talk about what we've been watching. All right. Can I answer his question real quick? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't Marnell win something? Yeah, he won. Marnell, you won. Um, he won. Does he know he won? He won the cuties. He won the Prime One Cutie Line. Should I go grab him? Uh, we have a we have the boxed up one sealed, uh, but uh, the next statue to hit the table is gonna probably be either be guts one third scale or XM Studios Doctor Octopus. Did we see Bloodshot? Did I get Joe's super chat? No. We did see Bloodshot. Did uh, Joe Latori's twenty five dollars super chat says, "Congrats on the milestone, bud. Appreciate all the work and content you put in for this hobby. Here's to a better twenty twenty one. And P.S. I got to beat you at MK someday. I'm sorry to say that's probably not going to happen. I mean, but shout out to Joe. We met him at uh, New York Comic Con. So hopefully Comic Cons are a thing again. Yeah. So what you want to tell what we watched? We definitely watched Bloodshot. Bloodshot was all right. And we watched uh, Alita Battle Angel. Mm -hmm. We watched that was great. Mandalorian. I, I really enjoyed uh, Alita. Oh, hold on. We started watching a that's, show that's, that you that's, already watched. That's what I wanted to talk about. But I'll say, all right, yeah, we can segue into it like that. That's cool. The that AO. Works. Yo, uh, no, it's the OA. The OA. It's the OA. <laughs> and I, okay, so I underwent surgery a number of years ago, and I'm beginning to think that maybe I might have like have an alter because I remember watching all the episodes for the first season, and I fucking hated it. I was like, this is the worst show ever this is so terribly written the production's great the show i'm like watching it now and I'm, there's parts that i don't remember seeing and uh, I'm like, well you were doped all doped <laughs> up on percocets shout out to uh, blake kenny man we appreciate that yo oa trippy af so the oa i like the i like the uh ideas in it and the stuff that they're doing but some of like the corny some of the some of the so scenes are really bad and They're, cheesy. You cringe like the whole time. Like, what are you doing? First of all, the movements are off the chain. The movements is the worst part to me. It's so terrible. I'm like, as an actor, I would never be able to get through this. I wouldn't be able to keep a straight face and do the whole thing. I would never be able to do it. There are people who are diehard lovers of the OA. Really? Then she starts to sit. To, to, she wants to call her. She's like, oh, I'm, and I like. Oh, yeah, the Queen's Gambit was great. I love that actress. Well, how about I guess what the OA was just from like, okay, it was like original gangster, original, well, I'm not going to spoil it. Thank you, me. Ruben. The OA is so bad. You can't stop watching First it. First of all, Marnette, uh, Queen's Gambit is amazing. And it, that's what really made us go watch New Mutants. And we really like New Mutants, too. Oh, four people hit the this. Oh, come on, man. We got to have First the haters, all, man. We know exactly who <laughs> yeah, you are. I could probably guess who the four if are. If they showed it, I would know without even having to see it. But like, yes, absolutely. That's OA or the OC. Yeah, I never watched OC. OC, no. Peace out. It's, yeah, yeah. Peace out, Stanbrook. Stanbrook. But um, it's on Netflix. <laughs> There's a second season. The OA is good and terrible at the same time. I totally agree. Okay, your wife can totally hear me. Yeah, shout out to Percocets. <laughs> Do you think you'll give away a Spider-Man statue in the future? Yeah, for sure. I think that can happen. OA was so, like, it's, you're like, I have to see the next episode to see what new, just craziness they come up with to fucking play off as normal. I just want to see that the supernatural elements are what they are in the show. And I'm nervous that they're not. I remember not, the gonna... end, and I was, I was like, wait, we're doing all of this for that? Yeah, so when you say that, it makes me think that none of this supernatural shit is happening. That pisses me off. Yo, I can't wait till we get... I want Because I want you to be as angry about this show as I am. Be watching I'm Black watching Mirror. it for a second time all the way through. Be watch Black Mirror. You, you like it, right? Yeah, Black Mirror. I, I like thinking of things from different aspects, so... Yo, shout out to the Woman Mandalorian. Did somebody just make that name? I said it earlier in the show. Are they in, is somebody in the chat that's got that name now? <laughs> Peace out. Comments are great. Thanks for the super chat. Appreciate your support, man. Oh, Eric, hold on. I just read Berserk number one this morning. Thanks, Jim. I'm addicted now. Done ordered volume one hardcover. Yeah, man. It's it even better than that. We have the fifth volume to give away because Jim. 
I forgot I, he bought them. The on first time, sides. the first time I've ever done that, and people always say that, and I'm always like, how how do you order something you already have? And I did it, but I think I ordered it through a site and it didn't ship yet. And I was like, oh crap, I didn't order it. So I, I, I really quick ordered it on Amazon. Low hit, I'll let you know the fastest thing I can tell you is you didn't win anything. Robert, uh, I do have Casca on PO. Casca. We did, we watched everything Berserk, all the animes. I, I all enjoyed movies, all of them. I did for what they were worth. I understand people not liking the 2016, 2017 anime. The sound effect on the sword was like, what is this? An aluminum freaking siding that we're sl slamming around? And the music? The music was epic on the 90s not, anime. Not the soundtrack to the, the intro or whatever the hell that is. Ash, that doesn't match the show Ashley at all. Ashley says she's always ordering stuff she already has. That's Chernobyl. We, we haven't watched that. <gasps> oh, I want to oh. watch that. I love things that all, all things Chernobyl. Yeah, Ben Hazel said, I love that Sideshow Robin. Looks great no matter how much, no, no matter how you put him on the base. So the whole review, I had the base the wrong way. Well, I mean, I, I saw that. You put that. But it looks the same, post. right? Is it a square peg? It's a rectangular peg, yeah. So, I mean, there's two ways you could put it in. I think there was a little bit of a design flaw. You shouldn't be able to put it in the wrong way. Right. It should, it should have been, been something, a... like, in the key, like, it's a uh, rectangle, but it has, like, a little A dip. corner cut out or right. something. Yeah, so, you know, I don't really blame myself 100%. And I swore it was Damian Wayne because he had the hood and the sword, but everyone's like, it's actually Tim Drake with a Damian Wayne switch out option. I was like, I didn't know that, man. The hell? I love that they corrected you. Yeah, I mean, hey, I get things wrong often. You know, people saw it, they're like, oh, he's wrong. I don't, tell him. I don't have the Neil Gaiman Library Collections, Micaiah, but I just ordered the Book of Magic Omnibus. I didn't even know there was an omnibus coming out for that. Ninja Scroll. Yeah, I got to check out Ninja Scroll, man. People uh, recommend that a lot. Oh, oh, one nugget. I, I'm I'm late, but just started watching The 100. I want to watch The 100, too. That's supposed to be another really good supernatural show. It's about like I think it's about like a hundred people go they disappear and then they come oh. back a long ass time later. Didn't I see that with you or something? N no, you're thinking of you're thinking of the same exact uh, yeah same plot. premise. Uh, you're thinking of Endgame. For five years, people were gone. Some of them were gone. No, I'm thinking oh. about this show that people were gone. I think it has a religious aspect. Then they though. all come back on the same day, and I'm not talking about Umbrella Academy. Maybe I am thinking about Umbrella Academy. Well, it's another one we should watch. I've, I've no, nah, there was a TV show. It looked super boring to me. All right, a visceral. No, I'm not going to get that negative suit Spider-Man, but I do think it's cool. It's just visceral. Uh, Terrell says you love Ninja Scroll. Gene Model's got a busy bounce. See you later, brother. Peace. Bye, Gene. Queen's Gambit is a chess about chess. And I, I, I used to really be really good at chess, but now I, I low-key suck. It's kind of like searching for Bobby Fischer 2020. I don't like Supernatural. It, I don't know why, but it strikes me as like corny. I don't, I don't, I'm not interested in it. Yo, Eric, I don't pre-order Omnis. I probably should, but uh, I don't pre-order them. We need to go by the grocery store. We yeah, uh, we do. We'll do that after this. Okay. Uh, Jim, is there any other YouTube comic channels with 100K and more subscribers? There are. There's ones that have kind of been around since you know back in the day, like Variant, like Comic Story, and they have uh, millions, a million, and I think one. I think one has one million. One has two million. Bam Collectibles was just in here. He does the anime statues. He just hit 125,000 fast within a year. Like he hit me up months ago. He was at like 40K and he just bomb, bomb, bomb. He just took over, man. And then uh, another statue collector, Via Collector, who does mostly anime stuff, but he does Berserk stuff too, which is, I guess, anime. He's like got a guy. He's got like 200,000. Yo, my brother and I used to watch a lot of anime when we were younger. I never did, yo. And it was always like I never, I know, I, I always felt like when I was younger that they were all just one-off stories. So I never, I, I never watched like series of them. Like I always just watched like you know, just, just just one one movie. Andrew, one-off well, movies. Uh, yeah. I did like the Daredevil Netflix series. I don't know if you watched that or not. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I definitely like Kingpin. I like. Did it. they take Jessica Jones off? I think they took all that off. Or it's there's a time limit when, when they're all eventually going to be off. Uh, they'll go to Disney Plus. Those shows are going to be dead, man. I but heard, the, I the heard rights Jessica Jones go, is really good. That's the only one that I'm kind of like I would watch. I that really one. did like Jessica Jones, and then I read the omnibus after that. S12. Do you ever? Did you ever consider getting into Hot Toys? No, and I've reviewed them, and they're just not for me, man. The articulations and the stand is what throws me off. I don't like the stand. Oh, I hate the stand. I hate the stand. Daredevil good. Magnetize I, those feet. I like statues because they have them in a pose that you could never accomplish with a posable figure. And the poses that they choose are way better than anything I could come up with. 
Um, dark. Is that scary? Is it horror themed or is it suspense? Thanks, Brandy. Oh, Antonio, oh. yes. Yeah, Antonio, I pre ordered it from Sideshow and then I think got super delayed, but I got that coming in too. I'm gonna get all the Prime One Berserk statues, except for the little life size puck thing. I didn't I didn't order that. I might maybe one day I'll get it. They should do a little puck when he's just the simple quick drawing. They have that. That comes with uh, guts. A little tiny little quarter size. They should one. make a big plush of that. Like a, just like one like this, like like one of the be bellets, like just a little fat one where his eye, he's just a little fat, his little fat arm sticking out. William Medina can confirm they're all gone from Netflix. Damn it! Can I get a shout out to my future wife Jen? We couldn't get married due to COVID. I love her. Dang! Damn, shout Mike out DeLorean? to Jen. Jen. Hey, it wasn't meant to be, man. It's meant to be. How old are you guys? When it's meant to be. Lord Roscoe, check it out. What up, brother? Um, Yo, yes. Hold on, what? Still waiting to see the X-Men vs. Sentinel diorama. Yo, when those Iron Studio ones come in, that's going to be serious. Like, where are you going to... They're all going in the, the display downstairs? No. Uh, love your channel. Greetings from the Netherlands. Thanks to you and the other Geminis. I'm addicted to Omnis. Passarini. Per, uh, per, Passarini. 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 Somebody asked me about a Berserk statue and I missed it, man. No, I love Viking stuff too, Lord Roscoe. I want to watch the Vikings, whatever this Norsemen thing is. Dude, I didn't pre-order. I didn't get the spawn Kickstarter thing. I told him while it was up, I was like, we're not going to get one of these. Why are we not getting one of these? Marnell, I think the first one's coming out maybe January. Let's see real quick. Hold on. All right. Let's check. Let's check it out. Because that I'm hyped for, man. Super hype. All right. So. Let me look on Sideshow site. That first Sentinel diorama from Iron Studios is scheduled to come out. Oh, between January and March. Wah, wah. That's whack. Uh, Gus Verzad. Yeah, I probably will get that. I don't really like that. It's, uh, well, it's smaller scale. I think it's one six scale. And I, I got to be honest, it's not as detailed. It doesn't have as much going on as the quarter scale pieces. And you would think with one six scale, they could do so much more. So I, I kind of was a little bit... Like, what the hell happened with that, right? Mm -hmm. Can't wait for those proximity pieces for sure. Groceries are calling. Low hit. Never watched Cowboy Bebop. I haven't watched Cowboy Bebop because I don't really like things that are cowboy themed. I don't really like Western things. I mean, it's confusing to me because it's an anime, but it's the name is Cowboy Bebop. It's, I don't know. I, 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 I don't watch that. Cyan. Isn't that the name of... Uh, Wanda's daughter, and I think isn't that Todd McFarlane's real daughter's name? <gasps> Brave little toaster. No, nah, no, nah, not a spawn omni. It was uh the spawn figures on Kickstarter, but they are doing spawn compendiums, 50 issues each. It's not about cowboys. Jen, what about Spider-Man versus Venom Omnibus reprint? What do you think? I think that Marvel is inundated with the amount of reprints they want to do. I, I would say never say never. It'll probably eventually happen. All right. So so you can get an idea of what I would like. My favorite, if I had to pick my favorite cartoon, you're like, what's your favorite cartoon? I would absolutely pick. Do you, th do you think you know? Your favorite cartoon? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Your favorite I'm really cartoon. afraid that you're not going to say it, and I'm going to have to get up and walk away from this. I think I'm, I'm going to say it. I'm going to jump out there. Damn it. I don't know if it's my favorite now. I'm scared because I, I want okay. you to be wrong. One of your favorites is for sure Bob's Burgers. Okay, yeah, I do. Yeah, I do like that. No, that's not even like Rick and Morty. Eon Flux. Oh, I remember that. Yeah. Yo, Eon Flux. You also I like used... Daria, but then you don't really like her anymore. Oh, I tried to watch it again. I was like, this is fucking horrible, but. All right, so you know, I forgot to say. So we, you know, we started watching um, Star Wars: The Clone Wars, the animated series. I mean, I like the animation looks good. Right was, away, you get Ahsoka Tano, uh, but I don't know. What was the one that we just recently watched? And I was like, surprised, like, oh my god, I'm like into this. And I was like, Wesley is like getting into my brain. It's only like episode three or four that we're on, right? They Yoda was trying to get to 
the flying, you know, the monster guy before the lady who looks like uh, with the swords, the bald lady. Oh, Azaz Ventures. She, beat, yeah. she was trying to beat Yoda or some shit. It gets better. What is he talking about? Are you talking about um, Star Clone Wars? Life. <laughs> this is as good as it gets, baby. Uh, yeah, Rick and Morty's great. I love Rick and Morty. Um, those all those current ones are great. But if I was like, like if if someone was like, oh, Eon Flux is on, like the original cartoon that used to be on MTV, I would be like, so I'm weird. not doing anything else for the rest of the day. I'd rather ro uh, rock with the Max or the head from MTV's Oddities. <laughs> SJF, yo, I. Well, I gotta, I gotta find. The, oh. You gotta get me the DVDs, the all of the seasons. Beavis and Butthead was my ish when I was a kid. I was always like, just please stop playing the music videos oh. and just let the show go. I actually do want a sip of this Walt's head. The, the Simpsons. Simpsons, that's up there for us too, man. But, but you know, like certain seasons. Once they get too current, yeah, you lost me. I want. We watched recently Ghostbusters. I'm trying to remember where the hell I was that I was seeing it. And I was like, oh my God, this is actually a really good movie. I'm the cartoon? Movies. Yeah. Oh, yay. <laughs> Five holler, holler from Holy Frack. Shout out to Fee for Eon Flux. Yo, feel like Eon Flux ever since back in the day. I have been scouring the internet for, yes, I watch I watch Attack on Titan. I need to catch up on season three and four. Scouring the internet for an Eon Flux freaking patch. There are none. Ben Workman, I, I, I feel like more like seasons like three through 10. I mean, I get that seasons one and two of The Simpsons are classic and everything, but um, it starts to hit that stride, like the season where Homer goes to college. I found a really, really well, the art gets good. I got really, I found really good, like Santa's little helper and snowball patches online. I love. I think one of my favorite episodes of The Simpsons is when Bart sells his soul, and they're out to dinner, and, and then Bart leaves, and Homer's like, "Wait," and he's like, "You fool." The way your food could be mine. And he's like, run, boy. <laughs> run for your life. First of all, there's so many quotes from that way to breathe, no breath. <laughs> like, yeah, we say that shit all the time. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so, honestly, though, when you see Millhouse with Millhouse's soul and Bart's soul, yeah. you know, I will cry yeah. every time. And Bart's just one or that's too heavy for a kid. Way to breathe, no breath. You got to make a Simpsons bag. I ha I found I found vintage, but I found somebody else's project that they remade vintage sheets with. So now I'm going to take that apart what? to make my own thing. I did find uh, Simpsons sheets, though. Dang, it's like that now. Run, boy! Run for your life. <laughs> All right. So, dang, man, this was crazy. This okay. Is a crazy stream. But. Okay, I I get it. The bit, bros, that the Mandalorian is a western, but it's like there's no cowboys. Like the actual. It's not like dusty. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Yeah, with the chaps and spurs and the hat, like that whole vibe. Can we talk about Mandalorian season finale without spoilers? Is that listen possible? to me right now? I turned comments off on every post in our group that talked about Mandalorian. I don't want to have spoilers in here for people. It hasn't been a week yet. Bigs, shout out to. the Home of the New York Warriors. We appreciate that, sir. I do remember Celebrity Deathmatch. Yeah. Oh, Andrew Wilson. Another video with Omar from Near Mint. Yo, I'm I'm down to collab with anybody, man. For sure. I mean, we haven't. There's no plans, but you can count me in for whatever, man. So you don't like Gunslinger Spawn? Not really, to be honest. No. I don't think he knows who that is. Uh, I can put it together. I <laughs> right. see a long duster jacket. But what's funny is I do love me some medieval spawn. Whack. What about medieval spawn? No, medieval's good. I like medieval stuff. All I right. mean, I don't like like medieval ninja turtles. Like yeah, let, let me let me can we take a time to show appreciation for John Favreau for single handed single handedly handingly handedly single handedly saving Star Wars and creating the MCU. How did he save Star Wars? The he is the writer of the Mandalorian. Again, my question still stands. How did he save it? Because Star Wars was a shit show for three whole movies. Everybody hated all those movies. The prequel trilogies weren't even really well received, but when the sequel trilogies came out, the prequel trilogy started looking a lot better. Mandalorian single-handedly saved Star Wars, especially the season finale of season two, which brought the franchise back where it should be. And Favreau directed Iron Man, which set off the MCU. He even casted himself as a character, as happy 
Kevin Zoom off out super chat. I'm putting in the chat. Watch Cowboy Bebop, Space Jazz, and Bounty Hunting Deep Story. Dang. Yeah, there was a show. It was one season. It was short. It's called Moonbeam City. Tell me someone knows it. Favro and Filoni. Okay, yeah, we can give the uh, Filo uh, Filoni his flowers. I noticed Fee got hype about Mando during Gary's live stream on Friday. She can't hide that excitement anymore. Uh -huh. I I like she the baby. <laughs> I like Grogu. Period. Yeah, you know, I do. I have watched Spaceballs. I hate Spaceballs. I hate. I hate those like um, Mel Brooks parody movies. I mean, I get it, but uh, I'm just not a fan. Watching the Mandalorian cart saying, around though. a baby like he's a single mom is not manly. It does not make me feel it, like he's a strong. It's not manly until he, until he starts whipping people's asses. That's pretty manly. Yo, how about my man with the best scar armor? The final battle. Yo, come on, man. Sean Rousset, or is it Rose? Or is it Rose? It Five dollars super chat. <laughs> Jem and Fee, Marvel show still on Netflix. I just checked. Okay, so we got bad information earlier. Good to know. You know, it's super important when you get information first and where you get it from. It's key. It's key. <laughs> it's the only time it's important. Yeah. <laughs> my bro, uh, my Tyler Kirk of Venom just came in longest way ever. Dang. Well, at least you got it, brother. Uh, what up, Alf uh, Alfonso Adam? What did it do? Oh, did he? Alfonso, yes, he did. I just mailed not, it. Oh, I'm not. Oh, okay. I'm not uh, I was, have to was that the I international gem crate? Uh huh. Yeah, I mean, you mailed it. Yeah, it's, it's on its way. It's, it's coming, but you know, Star Wars was always good. It's debatable. Listen, Ash. <laughs> Okay, all right, John Favreau and Dave Filoni. But the thing is, I'm a John Favreau fan. First of all, from Iron Man. Second of all, we watch his show, The Chef Show. Yeah. Is that what you call them together, Favreau Filoni? Uh, Filoni's last name reminds me of Felonius. Filoni. That's a word. Did I miss a bunch of comments? Don't forget Filoni. Okay, okay. I'm pumped for Obi Wan uh, show for uh, as well. Yes, Star uh, Mandalorian just brought back every Star Wars fan back at full speed. He even he he made me cross the line. I've always like dabbled in Star Wars. I I wanted to get into it. I like the universe. I like the Jedi lore, the the stormtroopers, the space fighting, all this stuff. And then Mandalorian just pushed me over the edge. And I'm like, all right, I'm in. Yeah. You lost me. Oh man. It's all right, Spina. Star Wars never had me. <laughs> Thank you, Claudia. No, actually, that's a lie. When we started The Mandalorian, the first three episodes were fire emoji. You were in. I was in. Then they went off of that storyline, kind of. Do you call him child And or did Grogu? single issues the whole rest of the I'm life. not really comfortable with Grogu yet. That's the only thing I'm comfortable with because his nose is so little and cute, and he's got that <laughs> weak chin. It's so weak. Samurai Shampoo. Um, somebody did, said that they also watched Moonbeam City. I loved it. It's got the same voice actor who does Archer and Bob's from Bob from Bar Bob's Burgers. I think it's so funny. The Dark Saber was epic. Hey, SWT, you can just make it minus 100. I am not a, a fan of Star Wars. <laughs> you can make it higher. You can make that a higher number. I guess lower. <laughs> the Last Jedi in the beginning seemed like another Spaceballs. Is that when Luke was drinking the cow's milk or whatever? Unpopular opinion. I like Force Awakens. I do too, but wasn't Force Awakens basically a new hope? Uh, remix. They jacked up that sequel trilogy, man. So many big plots that they just like totally trashed at the end. Mm. Like uh, with Snoke and with uh, mm -hmm. um, what's the guy's name? Um, oh, Real Monsters was a cool show. Yeah. Yes. The guy with the eyes like this. Finn, what they did to Finn was terrible in, that, in those. Yo, four comics in the chiz at what up? What it do? A new hope rip off. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Rogue One was good, but I think Rogue One was like the ending was good. The whole other movie is just like you knew none of the characters mattered. It's like, ah, eh, whatever. Solo was whack, right? I don't really remember liking Solo. They wanted an Avengers Endgame ending. Yeah. I love this person's freaking name. Yeah, Eric, I agree. Whose mm -hmm. name? Wooly Klamath. <laughs> <laughs> That's been great. Been watching since 2017. Dang, man. Dang. Appreciate it. I'm waiting for someone to be like, well, I've been watching since 2015. Because <laughs> <laughs> you'd be a lie. 
I mean, unless they're talking about Insta. Dr. Zabaris. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Get your hands off me, you. <laughs> what does he say? I can't talk. I can't talk. But I can, I can sing. sing. <laughs> that is the, that's Troy McClure. That's what you always want to do, Troy McClure. I do. Dude. I always I tell Joe, like, and when I do this video this time, I want to come and go, you guys might remember me from such videos as Sunday Streaming or... Claudio, I heard uh, good things about Demon Slayer, man. What's what's it called? Ooh, what statue of the year? Wow. Does it matter what scale? And I don't really want to spoil it. I want to make a video for this. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. We love you, Dr. Zayas. Then he starts break dancing. Never got into Johnny Quest. He does start break dancing. Dr. Zayas, Dr. Zayas. Oh, Dr. Zayas. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> <laughs> it's Iceman, obviously, duh. Statue of the Yizir. What up, SJVR13? Harm A in the house, what it do? When's Boba on Throne coming out? For sure. First of all, when's Mando on Throne? <laughs> Ru Ru when's Boba on Throne? Uh, Ruban uh, Ruben Guzman said Demon Slayer is dope, so he can confirm. Zod Beast Mo. Oh, Artist Brown. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna get the Mando statue from Sideshow. I do like the Iron Studios one, but Sideshow, Sideshow just they they got a classy P, uh, PF thing going on. They know just how to make the base just big enough, and the paint applications are always super solid. I think even the um, floating Grogu or the child next to him looks great. That I can I I can get with that. What? With the the baby in its little um His little stroller? cover cart, little yeah, that's 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 different. But when he's got the baby, it looks like he's got his hip pushed out and he's holding it. It's like Ninja Scroll ASAP. Are any of these things on any kind of streaming service on my TV? I don't want to have to watch on the laptop. That's the, the thing with a lot of manga. Want to sign right? up for Crunchyroll? Right. Oh, I don't want to get a billion emails. Demon Slayer, most solid manga this year. Dang, you know I'm you know I'm finding myself really liking reading manga more than collected edition comics. Isn't that weird? Like, I like reading weekly comics, and then I like reading manga. Hmm. At least a little mo bit of mangas I've dabbed into. Yo, Wes, we are not getting Bermejo Joker. It's really well detailed, but I don't know. It's, a, it's just not a must for me. You know what I do have coming in, though, is Cyborg Superman from Prime 1. That's for sure. Uh, and then, of course, the, the Berserk statues that we mentioned. Oh, Jose, I'm sorry. I've seen you ask this a couple of times. I'm not a fan of Spaceballs. Yeah, me neither. No, I, we answered that. Oh, well, I don't know. You just keep saying it. Space balls. Nah, I'm not with it. I do not care. Because when I see the guy, all I think of is Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Rick Moranis? Yes. He, yes. Oh, yeah. That's all I think of. I'm like, it takes me back to my childhood. Favreau played a millionaire on the show Friends and fought UFC. And he cooks. It's on Hulu at the moment. Ninja Scroll on Hulu. Should we be writing this down? Ninja Scroll on Hulu. You want to write that down? Let's write that down. Ninja Scroll. Is it two O's or two L's? Two L's. Andrew Wilson says, so I so late just realized last night that Cable is Cyclops' son. What's interesting, he's the son of Cyclops and Madeline Pryor, the clone of Jean Grey. That's like some Maury type stuff. Shout out to Fury Us Styles. I like that. Like Furious Styles from um, uh, Boys in the Hood, right? Did you ever review Sideshow Red Hulk? You know, I didn't. I owned it. And, and you, you'll you probably see it in some of my early room tours. But I never actually reviewed it. At the time, I never reviewed statues that I already had on display. It was always like a new one coming in. But I ended up getting rid of all the Hulks. Our boy Ricardo, yo, I see my man. I always see him commenting on the videos. I appreciate it. Say, congrats to all the winners caught up on the live two times speed. L M A F L M F A O. Yeah. I'm glad you got caught. Up. It was probably fun on double speed. Ken Solo with the $25 super chat. Late to the party, just went back through the stream and I saw I didn't win. That's okay. Here's to 101K, 10 prize giveaway, correct? LOL. Congrats, Gem and Fiat 100K. Here's to 100 million. 100 million? Who do you think this is? PewDiePie? Uh, Josh Cortez with the $5 holler. I didn't realize. So Josh is doing like a podcast with Ashley. You know that? Yeah, I see you, Josh. They asked me we to join you, on there. I'm, I'm definitely going to come on there. Okay, so um, 808 Superman. Mandalorian, why don't you bathe yourselves in the mountains of what is it? Minnetonka. <laughs> but, uh, I, you know, I don't know how to mirror my laptop to my TV. I guess I could try to mess with that, though. 
How do computers even work? Exactly. Nobody How knows. does it know? Anyway, did you get the? There's this um. The super sticker. A super sticker. I guess it hasn't popped oh. up on there yet. Yeah, here it is. Oh, 808 Superman. Boom with the it's bass drop. It's a lemon holding up a little baby lime. It's adorable. <laughs> Lemons and limes. Appreciate that, man. They call them the same thing out here, right? They call them both lemons. I feel like they're that's just what Saab does, yo. He's oh. the only one that does that. He makes me think that he knows what he's talking he about. Know it's lemon and limas here. That's how you say it. limas is le uh, lime. And lemon is lemon. Thank you, the Mike Delorean. But we got okay. a friend. We got a friend that he's Colombian, but he, he calls limes lemons. I'm like, dude, it's not a lemon; it's a lime. What are you talking about? David Preciado. I just watched Half Baked the other day with okay. my oldest daughter, and <laughs> she just couldn't get off her phone. I'm like, this yeah. isn't funny. You're not laughing. But she's 16. She's gonna, she doesn't care. She's like, this isn't even funny. Thank you, uh, Cyber Knight. On um, weed, favorite version of Batman? I think that's a really tough question. I don't know. I mean, I, I guess I like comic book Batman more specifically, like mo more modern era, like many New Fifty Two, Rebirth. Even I really like uh, Three Jokers version of Batman. What? I'm thinking about the um, Team and T hoodies and cutting off. I do really suits. like a modern take on the gray and blue suit Batman. What? Uh, what is? The favorite slab modern book you have, Jim. Mine are his three, uh, nine point eight Edge of the Spider Verse two modern book. You know, I don't. I think the only slabs I have right now are like nineties nostalgia books, like Spider Man twenty ninety nine issue one. A lot of chromium foil, uh, shiny books. Hoodwood got my quote for twenty twenty, dude. It's lemon, not like what are you talking about? Just <laughs> lemon, not a like what you. I know what he was trying to say. Uh, Cheater Red said, thank you for bringing me back to comics. You rock. There's a lemon behind that rock, the tree. What is that? Is that from The Simpsons too? Is that when Shelbyville and uh, Springfield had the battle for that lemon tree? Shout out to Adrian Rivera with the $5 Super Chat. Said the Demon Slayer movie just became the second highest grossing film in Japanese box office history. Uh, show is easy to watch. Twenty five episodes, twenty minutes each. Can you write down Demon Slayer next to Ninja Scroll, please? Yeah, I got you, Speen. Huh? Me and Speen be on the same wavelength. It, Demon Slayer's on what streaming service? Hulu also. Uh, I guess we're just able to find it. Yo, I see. If you won one of the giveaways, man, you won. Uh, what do you win? Tell the boy what he's won. I think he won an omnibus. He did win. The Cap Brubaker. You won the Captain America Brubaker on bus. S send us an email, gemmintc at gmail.com with your shipping info. Gemmintc, like the letter C, not like seeing with your eyes. Gem mint C. I'm with that, Hoodwood. Basilisk. Is that a Harry Potter related show? Basilisk. Is that a snake? Appreciate that, Russell. My boy, R Russell Soro. All right. All right, y'all. I think we're going to blaze on up out of here. I'm exhausted, man. We got stuff to do. Uh, we definitely got we got some omnibus content coming this week. Should I give him a little teaser of what's to come? Yeah, uh, yeah, whatever you think. I don't know the right answers to those things. Where's all the books? Oh, okay. I'll, I'll give you all a little teaser. <laughs> Oh, it's a ninja story? Okay, that's another thing that I can't really get behind. It's Western cowboy theme stuff and samurai. All right, so this is up right now. Uh, for members can see it now, but I'm going to release these throughout the week. So I did an overview of this huge Jack Kirby Eternals hardcover. The colors are so nice, and I wish you would take it out of the bag so we could really see Whoa, it. Oh, this thing pops. The video is dope. I mean, you can watch it now if you're a member. Uh, otherwise, it'll probably drop around like... Thursday or Friday or so. Then we got the Infinity Crusade. We got a little early access on this. So uh, a review is up for members now. This is the one I'm most excited about. And the Moon Knight one, yo. This is basically Moon Knight Origins. His first appearances, his first solo uh, ongoing. I'm going to sneeze. So we got those reviews coming. Oh, I got some more stuff. Mm-hmm. I got a box of 12 of these from Walmart. Somebody asked where I got a huge, this huge Fiji bottle. Can I have the lid to the bottle? Yeah. 
So we got some other stuff. Dead Man Omnibus. This one came out already, but I didn't even know this was a book that was coming out. So I'm going to go over that. Marvel sent us some early stuff, too, like Always an Invader, Submariner. Looks like an Alex Ross cover. Uh, there's Nightwing, New 52 Omni. We're going to do a little haul for that. Uh, Marvel Select Edition, Hey, It's Deadpool. Basically like another Deadpool origin type book. Then we have Guardians of the Galaxy by Donny Cates. And that's it. Oh, actually, no, it's not. I want to do an anime bag. I've got yeah. Dragon Ball sheets. And I've got Attack on Titan patches. We also got uh, <gasps> the Marvel art of Adam Kubert. And Marvel Mythos, Paul Jenkins and Paolo Rivera. We were on a live stream with Paul Jenkins, super cool guy. Comic Book Therapy says, I have a prescription and it's for more Moon Knight. <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to get up out of here. Uh huh. Thanks, Mike. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody. It was everybody, crazy Merry stream. Christmas. Are we going to go live? What's, when's Christmas? I think it's December it's like 25th. <laughs> yeah, asshole. I know that. What day? I think it's Friday. I think it's Friday. You know, Should maybe? we do a Christmas special live stream? Okay, I don't want to open gifts on live again. I don't know. First of all, we never open gifts on live. We recorded it as it was in the box. Oh, okay. I don't want to do that again. But but we could go live in the evening on Christmas. Like everybody's spent time with their family in the morning, maybe after dinner. Yeah, no, yeah, definitely in the evening when you're like the kids have all the batteries and all of their toys, and you're ready to just throw all of them against the wall guys thank you everyone who came through moderators thank you for holding it down thank you for everyone who became a member existing members everybody who subscribed everybody who watches everybody who oh, comments super chats super, you, you guys know, are overwhelming with that which is definitely going to help these shipping bills uh but we appreciate it guys we're going to keep going we're going to continue to do the giveaways like i said this is going to be the next milestone giveaway we'll do it at one hundred and ten thousand, and then we'll probably do one at like one hundred and twenty-five thousand, and uh just keep it moving so uh, we're going to go. I hate ending these, but. Yo, maybe I'll do a live on Facebook and we can ch all chill Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve. All right, y'all. Um, that's it. That's all? That's it. Just end it then. Stay minty fresh. Peace. Peace. Wait, I didn't stop it. I just hit leave studio. Psych! <laughs> Psych! Bye. <laughs> <laughs>